Please subscribe mad.com for any query, comment or email. Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will see how distance, speed and time are related to each other. Let's find it out by means of a formula. We are given with distance is equals to speed multiplied with time. This is the basic formula that you have to keep in your mind whenever you are going to discuss discuss speed and distance speed and time. They are related to each other by this formula. It means if you are given with speed and time, you can easily calculate the distance. If you are given with the any of the two quantities out of these three, you can find the uh, you can find the remaining one. We can also write this formula as speed is equals to distance over time. How? What we have done? We have moved this time here and we have find out the speed. So this is the formula of speed. If you have to, uh, if you will be given with distance and time, you can easily find the speed. And if you are given with speed and time, then you can easily find the distance from this formula. This is the formula for speed. Okay. If you want to find the time, then what you will do? You will swap their positions and will write time is equals to distance over speed. So, the formula is only one. You just have to change their positions to calculate the uh, required quantity. So these are the three formulas that you have to keep in mind when you have when you will be asked to find distance, speed, or time, and you will be given with any of the two quantities out of these. Distance can be represented by d, speed by s, and time by t. So, the three formulas can also be written as D is equals to S into T. Okay. S is equals to D by T and T is equals to D by S. So, these are the three formulas that you will use in order to find whether a distance or speed or time depending on the given quantity. How you can find the units? You will, you will be given with the formulas speed is equals to distance over time. Time is equals to distance over speed and distance is equals to speed into time. So these were the formulas. Let's see how you can derive their units. Basically distance is calculated in meters and time in seconds. It can also be calculated in hours or minutes. It depends but the basic unit is meter per second. You can write it as like this. Next, distance is calculated in meters and speed in. Speed will be from here will be meters per second. You can write it as meter over meter per second. It will be cancelled out and this per second will go up and you will write here seconds. It means time will be calculated in seconds or hours or minutes. It depends in which you will be asked to calculate. Then distance, speed is calculated in meter per second as it is clear from here, meter per second and it is multiplied with the time. Time, the this unit of time is second. So you can write it as meter per second into second. It will be cancelled out and the unit of distance will be meter. So these are the units that you have to keep in mind when you will um, uh, when you will solve the word problems um, related to these quantities. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe mad.com.